Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys. To any of you having a Ford C-Max, Ford Fusion, Lincoln MKZ, you have check engine light on and any of the following three codes, I'm talking about code P0455, 456, 457. While we're explaining on that, uh, uh, we're talking about those three cars because they share the same drivetrain. We'll be demonstrating on a turbo, uh, excuse me, on a, a hybrid engine, but even if you have a turbo or regular gasoline engine, the procedure will be about the same for all these engines, guys. If you have any of these codes, stay with us, we'll explain what most likely causes it. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us, guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. That way we can keep making these absolutely free videos. Another thing, if you want to save quite a bit of money on car parts, tools, uh, anything for your car, guys, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So let's go ahead and start on it now. So let's go ahead, open the hood. I want to show you what we have specifically here, guys. As I said, we're demonstrating on a hybrid engine. So here, if we remove the intake hose where the car gets its air from, guys, you're going to see that you have one special device underneath it. Okay, two things can easily cause that cold. Make sure you stand to the end. One of them is something most people never think about. If you look at that device, guys, this is known as a perch control valve. What it does, guys. Back in the day, okay, you practically, when you put gasoline in your fuel tank, it will splash, it will move, it will expand, it will create fuel uh, vapors that used to be released in the atmosphere. Now, you have a special device, the canister box that catches these vapors, brings them to the engine through that hose, the perch control valve will be activated by the uh, engine computer when you have enough pressure a few vapors and it will inject it in the intake manifold it will burn through the engine it will make uh, the car more efficient give you extra power and it will keep the atmosphere clean guys so win-win situation but if that valve fails you can easily get any of these three codes anything from 455 456 457 the evap leaks guys so uh, what I recommend to check, make sure the holes are not broken, okay, that, uh, that hose coming to the purge valve, it's not leaking, if you have a leaking hose, you can get that code. Another thing, make sure the valve itself, it's not leaking, uh, you can easily test the purge control valve, we'll have the video on our main YouTube channel, Auto Repair, guys, how to test purge control valve, it will teach you how to do that. Number three, guys, uh, inspect the seal on the valve itself, okay, uh, uh, sometimes okay the valve o-ring can be leaking as well but if it's not that what else can be causing guys okay this code something super simple if you come on your ford lincoln vehicle to right here check it out and you open it on these modern cars you don't have a fuel cap uh, and you see it says capless but back in the day failing fuel cap could really cause that problem Okay, but when you don't have the cap, what causes it? Right here around that thing, you have a special O-ring, guys, that actually seals. And if that O-ring doesn't seal, or we have dust, dirt stuck in it, okay, what can easily happen, guys, okay, uh, actually, it will not seal, and it will create a vacuum leak, which will be, which will trigger that light and code 455, 456, 457. In some cases, you might need to replace it. In some cases, okay, you need to clean that seal on the inside and make sure that it's uh, actually sealing correctly. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.